Dear students, welcome to all of you in this video lesson of B.Ed. second year of Maulana Azad National Urdu University, Hyderabad. Today, we will have a discussion on need and importance of reference key, types and uses of dictionary, thesaurus, encyclopedia and bibliography. The topic is prescribed in the seventh unit, teaching of vocabulary, study and reference skills of the course Pedagogy of English for both regular and distance mode students of B. Ed. In this video lesson, we will try to find out the answers of these questions. What is the need of reference skills? What are the types and uses of different reference materials such as dictionary, thesaurus, encyclopedia and bibliography. This video lesson will enable you to understand the need of reference skills, to understand types of dictionaries, thesaurus, encyclopedia and bibliography and to refer different types of dictionaries, thesaurus, encyclopedias and bibliography. Patty Murray, an American politician says, good education means learning to read, write and most importantly learn how to learn so that you can be whatever you want to be when you grow up. The role of teacher as well as learner has drastically changed due to technological advancement in 21st century and subsequent knowledge explosion. Information and communication technology has changed the definition and roles of almost every aspect of education. Today, being an educated person is more about knowing where to find information and how to evaluate that information. Hence, it is the need of time to impart reference skills among students to locate the authentic information from authentic sources. Being an English teacher, one has to acquire a variety of skills and information and secondly, he has to present it in an effective manner before students. For both of the above things, a teacher has to take the reference of many things to acquire authentic and valid information. Therefore, reference skills are of immense importance not only for teachers but also for students. Reference material includes dictionaries, encyclopedias, books, yearbooks, thesaurus, maps, charts, schedules, handbooks, textbooks, manuals, government rules, acts, digital and reference material, etc. Reference skills are nothing but skills needed to refer any reference material. How to use a dictionary, how to read a map, how to use a thesaurus or an encyclopedia, how to find out telephone number of someone from a telephone directory, how to use a handbook or textbook while teaching or learning, how to search information, where to search information. Reference skills answer the aforesaid questions and facilitate teachers and students to acquire authentic information in easiest ways and use it whenever necessary. So students, let's try to understand how to use different types of reference materials. Dictionary is one of the foremost important reference materials for a language teacher and learner. Dictionary is a book of words where words of a language is listed out in an alphabetical order. A dictionary gives information about word, its spelling, 
its type, its pronunciation and usage in different context. According to number of languages used in a dictionary, there are three types of dictionary. Monolingual dictionary, bilingual dictionary and trilingual dictionary. See the image. This is an example of monolingual dictionary. In this type of dictionary, only one language is used. In this Oxford Dictionary of English, meaning and usage of words are given only in English language itself. Now see the second image. It is a bilingual dictionary where meaning of English words are given in Urdu language. Oxford English Urdu Dictionary. You can find many dictionaries in other languages as well. For example, English to Marathi Dictionary, English to Hindi Dictionary, English to Arabic Dictionary or English to Persian Dictionary, etc. So, in bilingual dictionaries, two languages are used. These are the examples of trilingual dictionaries. In these types of dictionaries, three languages are used. You can see English, Hindi, Urdu dictionary was developed by Mahjabeen Akhtar. So, in trilingual dictionaries, three languages are used. Now, according to age of users, there are two types of dictionaries, child's dictionary and adult's dictionary. Here, you can see the examples of child's dictionary and adult's dictionary. Oxford Children's Dictionary and Oxford Southern African Adult Learners Dictionary. According to the size of dictionary, there are four types of dictionary. Unabridged dictionaries, college dictionaries, desk dictionaries and pocket dictionaries. Unabridged dictionaries comprise 4 lakh to 6 lakh words. College dictionaries comprise 1 lakh 30,000 words to 1 lakh 60,000 words. Whereas, desk dictionaries comprise 60,000 words to 1 lakh words. And lastly, the pocket dictionaries comprise 40,000 to 60,000 words. Now, according to the scope of subject, there are two major types of dictionaries, spatial field dictionary and second one, subject field dictionaries. Spatial field dictionaries contains the information of the words or terms used in a particular field, such as military dictionary or medical dictionary. It covers the entire field and all the terms related to that field. Subject field dictionaries contains the information of words or terms used in a particular subject such as biology dictionary or mathematics dictionary. It covers the entire subject and all the terms related to that subject. According to the aspects of language covered in a dictionary, the types of dictionaries are etymology dictionaries, pronunciation dictionaries and dialect dictionaries. Etymology dictionary deals with the origin of words, whereas pronunciation dictionary focuses on pronunciations of words and the dialect dictionary deals with dialects of a particular language. According to the form of dictionary, the types of dictionaries are traditional dictionaries, online dictionaries, offline dictionaries, mobile dictionaries or dictionary apps and picture dictionaries. Traditional dictionaries are available in book form or hard form. Online dictionaries can be accessed online. Online means when you are connected with internet. Here you can see an example of Cambridge Online Dictionary. You can access this online dictionary with the help of your mobile or computer when you are connected with internet. Offline dictionaries are available in the CD-ROM form for offline access. 
offline means when you are not connected with internet. You can see the image of Oxford English Dictionary on CD-ROM version 2.0 on your screen. You can access dictionaries through various dictionary apps that are available on smartphones and mobile devices. You can see the logos of top dictionary apps on your screen. You can use all these mobile dictionaries on your mobile phones, smartphones or uh, mobile devices. In picture dictionary, pictures are given along with words and their meanings for clear understanding of the readers. Teachers should help students to learn how to use all such types of dictionaries. Generally, dictionaries are referred with the help of these techniques. The alphabetical order of the word, the abbreviations used for different purposes in the usage, the detailed guide at the end, the guide words at the top of each page, the key to entries at the beginning and the appendices. For using digital dictionaries, one has to type the word in the search box. Thus, dictionary is one of the important reference materials that helps an individual to get command over a language or a subject. Thesaurus is also a reference book. It contains a stock of words, they are synonyms and antonyms. It helps to find out words related to a core concept but have different shades of meaning. It is structured around ideas. It also follows alphabetical order. The first thesaurus in English language was known as Roget's Thesaurus. It was created by Dr. Peter Mark Roget, a British surgeon. A thesaurus and a dictionary are complementary to each other. But thesaurus is different than dictionary. It does not give meaning, definitions or usage of word like dictionary. It helps to find out related words of a particular known word. For example, if you search the word beautiful in thesaurus, see the image. Now here you can see the similar words of beautiful. A traditional thesaurus has two sections, index and body. Index lists the words with several meaning and body provides the synonyms of a word. Whereas a dictionary style thesaurus has a head word along with several synonyms following the head word. You can see the examples of thesaurus on your screen. Thesaurus is arranged in alphabetical order. In this digital age, we also have online thesaurus for online access and offline thesaurus for offline access and thesaurus apps for mobile use. A thesaurus helps a person to know synonym or antonym of a word instantly. It gives a glance of all related words. One can select a suitable word according to the context. It is helpful in writing essays, articles, research papers, drama, novel, short stories, news, notice or any other written material. An encyclopedia is a reference book that provides more information on a particular topic, subject or author. It contains lots of information relating to the subject concerned and therefore comprises many volumes. It is also arranged in alphabetical order. It is referred same like dictionaries or thesaurus. Encyclopedias provide quick, instant, in-depth 
and subject specific information. Let us see different types of encyclopedias and their characteristics. The first type of encyclopedia is encyclopedia for general information. It covers a wide range of topics or subjects of common interest. It provides enough information of keywords related to all subjects, but has limited depth. It is designed and developed for all sorts of users. Here you can see the examples of encyclopedia for general information. The Osborne's Children's Encyclopedia. Second type of encyclopedia is subject specific encyclopedias. As per the name, it deals with a specific subject and gives in depth information. It is specially designed and developed for the learners of a particular subject. Astronomy Encyclopedia, Encyclopedia of American History are the examples of subject specific encyclopedia. And the third type of encyclopedia is electronic encyclopedias. Electronic encyclopedias are available in the form of CD-ROM for offline use. Online encyclopedias are available for online access, whereas encyclopedia mobile apps are also available for mobile use. Encyclopedia Britannica Online is an example of online encyclopedia. Here you can browse encyclopedias, magazines, videos, websites, dictionaries, thesaurus, atlas, etc. Now the fourth type of encyclopedia is crowdsourced encyclopedias. Such encyclopedias are the product of collective efforts of many people. For example, Wikipedia, Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. Here you can see the logo of Wikipedia. People continuously review and revise the information on Wikipedia. Hence, it is one of the most updated encyclopedia in this digital world. Bibliography is also a reference material. The word bibliography is derived from the Greek word bibliographia. Bibli means book and graphia means writing. So, Bibliography means book writing or copying of books. It is all about the etymological meaning of the word bibliography. In general, bibliography is a list of all print and electronic sources one has to use in the process of writing a book, article or doctoral thesis. It is also known as reference list or work cited. It may include the reference cited as well as not cited in the work. It generally includes author's name, title of the work, publisher's name, year of publication and page numbers of the source. Bibliography is needed to acknowledge others work. It is also helpful to readers to find out the origin of cited references. Bibliography of any work helps in getting recognition and authentication of the work. It makes the work more informative. With the help of bibliography, one can trace the ideas of the writer. The most important thing is that it helps to avoid plagiarism. The types of bibliography are enumerative bibliography, analytical bibliography and annotated bibliography. Enumerative bibliography lists references according to particular pattern or arrangement. For example, APA style, American Psychological Association style. Here you can see the example of APA style bibliography. So, enumerative bibliography follows 
a particular pattern of writing bibliography. There are many patterns of writing bibliography and enumerative bibliography follows a particular pattern. The second type of bibliography is analytical bibliography. In this bibliography, writer gives information about publisher, bookseller, paper and binding of the resource. So, in analytical bibliography more information is given. Here you can see an example of analytical bibliography. The third type of bibliography is annotated bibliography. In this type of bibliography a writer gives critical comments on the source, may summarize the source or describe the usefulness of the source. Here in this image you can see the example of annotated bibliography. Further, there are different styles of writing bibliography such as APA style, Chicago manual of style, the Harvard system and the Vancouver system etc. Bibliography is must for an authentic work. It is an essential part of any written work. Dear students, in this video lesson, we have discussed the need of reference skill, types and uses of dictionaries, types and uses of thesaurus, and types and uses of encyclopedias and bibliography. You can read more about this topic from the books and other resources you are watching on your screen. For more details, you can contact That's all in this video lesson. Let's meet you next time with a new topic. Thank you very much.